All right, welcome back. So this is the TBO4, and currently this is the car that I felt had the best flow through the corner, meaning less scrub resistance from the front, and as well as giving good steering. And I'm trying to figure out why. And so I made this little things uh, alignment, plastic alignment things. Uh, to help me measure the Ackerman of the front, toe in, toe out, and so on. But what I did is, if you can see here, it's aligned to, let's say, 85. And 85 millimeters here, 85 from the center line. And what I do is, I am taking measurements of 1mm movements, and then measuring the left and right. 2mm, 3mm, 4mm, 5mm, 6mm, 7 and so on. And then I am plotting it here and to see the, the, the difference in angle between the in, the outer and the inner. So I'll do it for both turning left and turning right. See if they're symmetrical and see the delta and then compare it with my other car like my X-Ray or TA05. This car is pretty nice. So when we did, uh, we took a temp. Uh, the front, rear, left, right had all the same tire temps. So that's pretty good. Means it's pretty well balanced. Unlike my X-Ray, the front tires were hotter than the rear. So we were working the front tires more. It felt like it was stopping in the corner more, dragging in the corner more, and had to put more steering angle into it. Versus this one, my daughter said, not much steering angle, it was turning, it was flowing. So I'm trying to get the data now, and then I will compare it with the x-ray. Alright, so what this says is I've taken, I've moved the steering wheel 13 steps from neutral to full lock in turning left and turning right this is just this, the measurements and the basic thing here is to see the difference between the, um, the um, distance between the left wheel and right wheel so here it says on the first three steps of my me moving the the, the steering wheel the difference was steady at two and then you will see here uh, it increases to 2.5 so the inner wheel is turning more than the outer then it increases a little more a little more and full lock and if I look at turning right it's actually the same measurements so first thing, the good news is there's good symmetry between left and right in terms of how many steps I move the wheel and it's turning equally the same left and right. So from a linkage perspective, this is very good. Very, very good. It will give the driver a good feel turning left, turning right. It's consistent. And now I will... It looks pretty nice. So from... Uh, from little Ackerman to more Ackerman. Um, now I will compare my other cars to see how how they are, why this is better than the other, and then I will try to replicate this setting in my other cars so that it will go through our track more freely. All right, so for the TBO4, what this chart is saying, my endpoint adjustment of the servo turning left and turning right is exactly both at 100%. So there's no delta. Uh, they're very, it's good setting. The inner tire turns at a 31 degree angle. And if you can see here, these are 13 steps to move uh, the outer tire by 1 mm per step. And the delta is kind of like, um, delta two is a measure of the Ackerman. So initially there's a constant Ackerman that uh, slowly increases towards the 
end of the steering. So meaning at the like first two thirds, there's the outer tire and the inner tire are, are more or less the same angle, but the inner tire is slowly uh, get turning tighter, turning more than the outer. And if you look at the turn left and turn right, they are same. So my steering on the TBO4 is, in my view, perfect. I cannot ask for more. And yeah, the Ackerman turns gets bigger towards the end. So meaning as you turn tighter for the tight turns, um, the inner tire turns more. And probably that's what gives the car the feeling that it flows through the corner more. There's less resistance. The angle of the inner is better. Now, looking at my X-ray, uh, there's a problem here. First, the the servo uh, turning one, turning left, turning left is uh, turning one way is like 85 percent, and turning the other way is 115 um, percent. Ideally, th those should be very close to each other, but they are. Right now, that way, just to get the steering endpoints to turn the same amount. Uh, so there, there's a problem there already in terms of the geometry of the links. I need to fix that. Also, the inner tire only turns 26 degrees, so meaning it probably will not be as good in tighter turns than the TBO4. The inner tire might not give enough steering for it to flow through the corner more, maybe. In short, the table for just has more steering angle. <laughs> uh, then if you look at the Ackerman, it's all over the place. It's like a wavy curve. It's not linear, unlike the TBO4, which slowly increases Ackerman. This one, I cannot predict the Ackerman. <laughs> it's not, yeah, so, and even the turning left and turning right, they're, kind of different as well yeah so a lot of things going wrong with this um, so most important check check your steering linkage geometry make sure it's perfect because the perfect steering gives you the perfect feel and it allows you to drive the car more consistently through the corners left and right big corners small corners so that's very important all right so Take your time, do this, helps a lot. Helps me understand why the TBO4 is better than the X-ray flowing through the corners. All right, cheers. Hope you, you have a good day and see you in the next video. All right, let's go faster together. Team Gold.